Now we will edit the IRX2. I'll give it a name, but not a display name, as this is not an object that user uh, references within the interface. I'm not going to be giving the user access to the relay loads that are associated, so I will exclude these from widgets so they don't show up in the lighting widget. The Nouveau Music Port Elite is an Ethernet connected port device and we need to assign it to a TCP client port on an Infusion controller. With the device object selected, within the object editor we find the port filled and here we create a new TCP client port on controller 1. Now once created, we can edit the port's name for our reference. Now the user isn't going to be referencing this. He doesn't see this. So we don't worry about a display name. And once we know the IP address of the music port on the system, we need to enter it here. Okay, once we assign the object to the TCP client port, you notice the other ports are, or the other properties are automatically populated. Now, if this system will have Equinox 4.0 keypads, you will need an additional TCP client port for each of the music port outputs you will display. To demonstrate, we'll create one of these here. Once created, we need to name it and then duplicate the properties from the first. So this is a monitor port. Port one. So this would be for output one. Now we're going to duplicate the properties from the, the first. So the port was 5004. And the IP address as before. And then we need to connect the data to the, the music port as well as the write, the connect, and the manual connect. Finally, we're going to return to the music port object. And here we'll associate monitor port 1 to the TCP client port we just created and defined. Now remember to repeat this with a separate TCP client port per output. The Nouveau Dual Tuner is also a port device, but of the RS-232 serial port variety. We'll need to assign it to a port, and as per the diagram, it should be assigned to port 1 of the IRX2. The next control connection to represent is the IR channel assignment for the Apple TV. Our diagram shows this as channel 1 on the IRX2. So we'll select the IRX2, then channel 1, and then we select the device. The control connections representation for native objects of native vantage objects is handled through the process of configuration. So let's go ahead and do a configuration. We're going to connect to the controller and we will configure. Remember that with the 850 DDA, it's not the stack, but the amplifier that we're configuring. Okay, now that we've done a configuration, we'll do an upload of the file. Yes, we'll delete the Equinox profiles and go ahead and do an update. Now, while this is updating, let me just comment that all this work that we've just done can be used over in our next project. If it happens that you're using a standard offering for your customers, you can take the room, which is the audio rack where we've inserted everything, 
and you can store that in your library, which we'll show in just a second, and then you can use it over and over, and all you have to do when you bring it back in is make your port associations and uh, assign your zones to the proper locations. We'll just put in some of the characteristics of this system that we are offering. And now it's in our library, and every project that we do, we can bring it in and use it again without having to go through all this work that we just did. Once we open an Equinox interface, either on the Equinox 73 as we see here, an Equinox 41, or an Equinox app on a tablet, we see that the music widget now has been created and that all the functionality that we expect is here. All the different sources and the power. Now, one last thing that we will need to do is filter out any unused or non-audio zones and sources. So within the zones, we have some video zones that we are going to filter out. Now if there were zones on your amplifier that you weren't using, you'd filter those out as well. In the sources, we have a couple of video sources and you'll see here that they are attached to the 1080, the uh, 1080 and not the 850 as these two here, so we will deselect those. Also, there is a media player source that comes with the 850 DDA, which I'm going to delete or filter out. And now we have a filtered interface with just the active sources and just the zones that we want to show. Hopefully this training session has helped you see that with some rigor in your procedure, the amount of work it takes to enable the music widget is minimal. We didn't have to write a single task. All we did was faithfully represent the devices that comprise the system, how they connect to each other, and how they're controlled by the Vantage system. It's a good idea to propose and perhaps create for your clients some profiles that will make sense where the zones and sources are appropriately filtered and ordered. Now, don't forget to make audio adjustments as appropriate with the Vantage 850D DA, such as zone-specific max volume settings, equalization, balance, and, of course, your source gain offsets. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for training sessions on the video widget coming shortly.